This is a study that is uh, um, piggybacking, as we say, on a clinical trial. So we are asking participants in a clinical trial if they uh, are interested in participating in this other study in which we are measuring uh, brain activity before and after they quit smoking. The study per se is, uh, mm, are just two sessions. One session is done before they start the smoking cessation trial. The second session is done after they, um, they quit smoking, hopefully. I have been a smoker for approximately 42 years. Uh, when I was just a teenager, we just the rest of the kids were smoking, so I started smoking. The reason I wanted to quit smoking was because of health concerns. The developing cancer had crossed my mind, that was one of them. The other one was I was real short of breath, and I had exerted myself for any length of time, and, and I was hoping to you know, gain a little bit more stamina. And it's been slowly coming back. The reason for I joined the program was because I wanted to one, just live a healthier lifestyle. The next goal I'd have once I've quit smoking is I need to lose some weight. I'd like to lose some weight. So uh, one thing at a time for me. I have recommended this trial to other people that I know that have asked me about quitting, you know, quitting smoking because they know that I was a pretty heavy smoker. I was smoking up to two packs a day and I just, three months now I haven't quit and I'm around a lot of people that still smoke and so they kind of piqued their interest and I've told them, you know, that this is a good, you know, trial that they may want to try to get into. I think the clinical trials like this are beneficial to everybody, the, 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 the doctors, the patients, the people in the future. I mean, it, it, how else can you figure out what is the right program and wh how to set a program for a particular uh, sickness if you don't have some studies on how it affects people? In my, in my case, I didn't mind stepping up because I knew I, they were helping me quit smoking, which was my number one goal. And I don't only, you know, I said I, I didn't have much cancer in my family, but I have a, heart, a lot of heart disease in my family. And so, you know, smoking is not, certainly not conducive to having heart disease. So, you know, it was, it was a win-win for me. It has been estimated that one-third of the cancers are related directly to smoking cigarettes. So the ability to uh, help smokers to quit smoking, that will have a huge impact on cancer prevention.